So what this states is 6 log base 3 of 0.5x equals 11. So I'll try to make this like a, here's kind of some steps you want to write down. Whenever you see a log, and I'm saying solve for a logarithmic equation, there's two things you can look for. One is transfer it to exponential form, or the other one is use your one-to-one -one properties and exponentiate each side by raising it to whatever your base is of your uh, logarithm. So the first thing is, I can't transfer this at all, though, until I get rid of the 6. So remember, that 6 is kind of like your exponent. But if I put that 6 back up there, that's not really going to help me out, right? Remember, you're solving, so you're trying to get, get, um, you're trying to get your x by itself, or what we say, isolate your variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by 6. And yes, this does not make it any easier. So now I have log base 3 of 0.5x equals 11 over 6. Then, now I could transfer this to exponential form if I wanted to, right? Uh, sure, okay, I'll, how about I do it both ways? So if I transfer this exponential form, it is 3 to the 11 over 6 equals 0.5x. Or you can exponentiate each side and see, I need, if I raise both of these as a base 3, so if I say log or 3 raised to the log of 0.5x equals 3 to 11 over 6. By using my inverse properties, I know that cancels out, and it just leaves me 0.5x equals 3 to the 11 over 6. Which I get the exact same answer, right? Well, now, to get the x by itself, you have to divide by 1 half, right? which is the same thing, or divide by one half or multiply by two, same thing? No? Okay. Divide by one half is the same thing as multiplying by two, so therefore that's gonna be your final answer. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah, where did you get to say Okay. Divide by 0.5. Right? Same thing. If you look at this, 3 divided by 1 half, right? How do you get the 1 half on the bottom? You multiply by the reciprocal. That cancels out. So it's the same thing as 3 times 2 over 1, which is 3 times 2. Dividing by 1 half is the same thing as multiplying by 2. Try to cut there. So to prove it. All right. So then this one would be the exact same thing. You divide by one half. You guys get the exact same answer, which I don't know in my calculator because I don't have. A but I worked on two.